Welcome to another journey through the wonderful Loire Valley. In our last video, we explored some of the most famous castles in the region, but the Loire is much more than that. Today, we take you on a discovery of some of the lesser known treasures, hidden castles that you may never have heard of, but which promise fascinating stories and breathtaking views. If you're new to our channel or haven't subscribed yet, we invite you to do so by clicking the subscribe button below. And don't forget to activate notifications so you don't miss any of our adventures. Now, get ready. The journey is about to begin. The Chateau de Saumur. Often called the Pearl of Anjou, it is a castle that dominates the city of Saumur with its imposing position on a rocky promontory, offering a panoramic view of the Loire and the city below. Originally built in the 10th century and then rebuilt in the 12th century, the castle presents a fascinating mix of architectural styles, with Gothic, Renaissance, and Neo-Gothic elements reflecting the different phases of its long history. Today, the Chateau de Saumur houses several museums, including the Musée du Cheval, dedicated to the history and culture of horse riding, and offers visitors the opportunity to explore its fascinating history and admire the beauty of the surrounding landscape. The Chateau de Langeais. Located in the heart of the Loire Valley, it is one of the best preserved medieval castles in the region, with its imposing fortified facade, its crenellated towers, and its unique working drawbridge. Built by order of King Louis XXVI in the 15th century, the castle is famous for being the site of the secret marriage between Charles VIII and Anne of Brittany in 1491, an event that brought Brittany under the control of the French crown. Inside, the Chateau de Langeais offers a series of beautifully furnished rooms featuring medieval furniture and tapestries, allowing visitors to immerse themselves in the atmosphere of the time and appreciate the daily life of medieval nobility. Chateau Doucet. Known as the Sleeping Beauty Castle, Chateau Doucet is famed for being the inspiration for Charles Perrault when he wrote his famous fairy tale, with its slender towers and sharp roofs that seem to come straight out of a storybook. Located on the edge of the Chinon Forest, overlooking the Andre Valley, Chateau Doucet blends elements of late Gothic with the Renaissance style, resulting in a unique architecture that has fascinated visitors and writers for centuries. Inside the castle, visitors can explore a series of beautifully furnished rooms, as well as an exhibition dedicated to Sleeping Beauty, while the vast gardens, designed by the famous landscape architect André Le Nôtre, offer a perfect place for a relaxing stroll. Chateau de Valence. With its elegant neoclassical architecture and vast English-style gardens, it is one of the lesser-known jewels of the Loire Valley, but no less enchanting. Built between the 16th and 18th centuries, the castle is famous for having been the residence of Charles Maurice de Talleyrand Perigord, the celebrated diplomat of the Napoleonic era, and for hosting Ferdinand VII of Spain and his courtiers during their exile in France. Today, visitors can explore the luxurious rooms of Chateau de Valence, furnished with period furniture and artworks, as well as its beautiful gardens, the open-air theater, and the small zoo, making the castle a perfect destination for the whole family. Chateau de sully sur loire With its robust crenellated towers and its picturesque position on the banks of the Loire, it is a splendid example of medieval architecture, impeccably preserved to this day. This castle is closely linked to the famous de Sully family, and in particular to Maximilien de Bethune, the first Duke of Sully and minister of Henry IV, who transformed the castle into a sumptuous manorial residence during his tenure. In addition to admiring the external fortifications and the beautifully furnished interior rooms, visitors to Chateau de sully sur loire can also explore the surrounding park, rich in ancient trees and ideal paths for a peaceful walk. Chateau de Loche. Located in the picturesque town of Lush in the Touraine region, it is one of the best-preserved fortified castles in France, with its imposing keep tower, fortified walls, and the royal palace complex. Originally built in the 9th century, the castle played a key role in French medieval history, hosting historical figures such as Joan of Arc and acting as a favored residence of the Valois kings during the Hundred Years' War. Today, Chateau de Loche offers visitors the opportunity to explore its towers, its medieval prisons, and its royal rooms, providing a fascinating overview of medieval life and history. Chateau de Brézé. Unique in its kind, 
Chateau de Brézé stands out for its vast complex of tunnels and rooms carved into the rock beneath, making it one of the most unusual and fascinating castles in the Loire Valley. Built in the 16th century, the castle is known as the Underground Castle, with a network of subterranean galleries that once housed kitchens, stables, cellars, and even a church, offering visitors a truly unique experience. Above ground, Chateau de Brézé features beautiful Renaissance architecture and lovely gardens, while its underground complex offers a fascinating contrast and an unforgettable journey into the past. Chateau de mont sur loire One of the oldest and most extensive castles in the Loire Valley, it boasts a rich history dating back to the 7th century when it was an ancient fortification of the Counts of Blois. This castle is famous for its mix of architectural styles, from the remains of medieval fortifications to the elegant Renaissance facade, reflecting the different phases of its history and the tastes of its numerous owners. Inside, visitors can explore over 20 rooms, including the luxurious 18th century rooms, the Gothic chapel, and the medieval prisons, making Chateau de mont sur loire a fascinating immersion into French history. Chateau de Chaumont-sur-Loire Majestically standing on a promontory overlooking the Loire River, it is known for its enchanting Renaissance architecture and panoramic gardens. Built in the 10th century and rebuilt in the 15th century, the castle has had many illustrious owners, including Catherine de Medici and Diane de Poitiers, who have left their mark on its history and design. Today, Chateau de Chaumont-sur-Loire is famous for its International Garden Festival, an annual event that sees landscape architects from all over the world create innovative and artistic garden installations within the castle's park. Chateau de Montsoreau. Unique in its kind, it is the only castle in the Loire Valley built directly on the banks of the river, with its foundations immersed in water during floods. Built in the 15th century at the behest of Jean II de Chambre, a counselor of King Charles VII, Montsoreau Castle stands out for its elegant flamboyant Gothic style and its fascinating history linked to power struggles during the Hundred Years' War. Today, the castle houses the Contemporary Art Museum, Chateau de Montsoreau Musée d'Art Contemporain, where visitors can explore a vast collection of works from the Arte Povera movement, a 20th century Italian artistic movement in a unique historical context. Well, friends, here we are at the end of our journey among the lesser known castles of the Loire Valley. These fascinating places, rich in history, beauty, and mystery, show a more intimate and less explored side of this enchanting region. I hope this journey has made you want to discover these hidden gems for yourself. And don't forget, the Loire Valley still has much to offer, and we will continue to explore it in our upcoming videos. If you liked this video, please leave a like, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our future travels. Thank you very much for following us on this adventure, and we'll see you in the next video. Until next time.